Hey guys, Shelly here, and it's another day in the kitchen. It's kind of a dreary day outside, but um, there's always plenty to do inside. So today I'm gonna be making a keto lasagna, and um, I've made this before, and it turned out really, really well. So I wanted to make it again. One for us to eat, and two for me to do this video so you guys can try it. Uh, one of the interesting things that we're gonna do today is we're gonna use some freeze-dried food. Freeze-dried food, it's kinda hard to say. Uh, we're gonna reconstitute that and see how it works out. So, let's get started. So here we go with our keto lasagna. I'm using these Egg Life wraps. Let me show you. Here's the ingredients. Zero carbs. And I don't have any ricotta cheese or cottage cheese in the refrigerator, so this is freeze dried. I just got that out of the bag and I will begin reconstituting that. Have some homemade pasta sauce and mozzarella cheese. That's all we're gonna need along with a few herbs. And I almost forgot, here is um, Italian sausage. So I'm gonna show you reconstituting this. Um, let me see if I can hold this without sticking my fingers in the camera for you. This is two cups of cottage cheese. I'm gonna start with one cup of water. So I poured about a half a cup in there. And I'm just going to mix this, get all of it wet, and then we're just going to let it sit and keep absorbing that water. And I'll show you what it looks like before I add it to the, to the pan. So here is the, uh, what is it, cottage cheese after it's been reconstituted. So over here I've got three eggs and I added the mozzarella cheese and some fresh oregano. I will mix the cottage cheese in with that. And over here I've started the layering. So I put a small layer of the tomato sauce on the bottom and then the layer of the egg life wraps. So next we will add the meat and then the cheeses and just keep stacking. And then we're gonna bake it at 350 for about, I guess about 30 minutes. We'll check it and see if it looks done then. Here we go. This is the end product and Doug has already sampled it. And I just took a bite and this is really good. So I highly recommend this recipe. The Egg Life wraps turned out really, really good. They make a great pasta or pasta substitute. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you decide to try it, let me know how you like it. And we'll see you next time.